Now, this final day of drama and tension in the Championship was mirrored a day earlier at the top and bottom of League One. Let's rewind the clock to Saturday as Ned Bolting takes up the story. Never mind the Championship, the real drama is here in League One. For seven teams today, it's now or never. If Doncaster win, they're up. If they don't, Forrest can go up by beating Yeovil. Carlisle must win to claim second, but would still rely on the others dropping points. Gillingham have to win to stand a chance, so must Bournemouth, although a point could be enough, and neither Crewe nor Cheltenham are safe yet. But perhaps it's here that the stakes are highest, Modern Road, where Cheltenham need a win, and so too, for very different reasons, the Doncaster Rovers. Packed to the rafters, the home team on the edge. Doncaster and their Megabucks chairman, John Ryan, alongside Sean O'Driscoll, just one win away from the championship. History not so much beckoning as waving wildly. Keith Downey, the Cheltenham boss, expects a storm. But it's at Gresty Road where the action starts. Kenny Lunt, generous. Dean Smalley, grateful. Just five minutes have been played. That doesn't change the table, but this does. Julian Bennett, physical and then clinical. And suddenly Forrest are up to second place and automatically up. Six minutes later and Yeovil are breached again. Unable to contain the red tide, unable to do anything about Chris Commons. 2-0 now. But Yeovil aren't about to give up and go home. Acute 1-2 sends Jamie Peters through and suddenly Forrest's lead is down to one. But still, that's enough for second spot. More kamikaze defending, and this time it's Paul Huntington, the Leeds defender handing Simeon Jackson the chance to give Gillingham a lifeline. As things stand after that goal, they're level on points with Cheltenham and right in the mix. Back at Wadden Road, news has filtered through, and Cheltenham respond. Neil Sullivan unsighted. Stephen Gillespie wheels away in delight and surprise. His 16th goal of the season means Cheltenham move clear of trouble. And if that's bad news for Doncaster, this is worse. Lewis McGugan's free kick restores Forrest's two-goal cushion. Meanwhile, Oldham continue to batter Crewe, but Neil Erdley's goal makes little difference as things stand. Crewe are still somehow hanging on. But if Bournemouth score at promotion chasing Carlisle, that all changes, and with each passing minute, they get closer. The bar keeping out Max Gradle's deflected shot. Back at Wadden Road, Cheltenham see out their half-time lead. In truth, Doncaster haven't threatened and their timidity on the pitch has been matched by the nerves of the travelling support. This lot, honestly, they don't deserve to be here, none of them. None of them deserve to be here because they won't get behind the team. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Into the second half and suddenly Rovers remember what's at stake. Shane Higgs forced into the first of a string of fine saves and now the noise is back too. But what Doncaster can't manage, Carlisle can. Scott Doby's goal pushes them up into third, but still it's Forrest who lead the charge. And as long as Bournemouth are losing, then Crewe are safe, even if they're getting an absolute mauling. Another one from Neil Erdley makes it three. And at Elland Road, Leeds have finally woken up. Bradley Johnson's volley is bad news for Gillingham. They must win, and now they're not. So is Bournemouth, and suddenly on 68 minutes they get one back through Brett Pittman. Theirs would be a miracle escape, and it would send Crew down too, but it's not there yet, they need another. And as if they know how close they are now to relegation, Crew decide to give up. Gary McDonald makes it four for Oldham. Back at the top end of the table, Doncaster finally get going. Paul Green smashes in the equaliser and roars at his supporters to get behind them. High fives and a skip in their step now and praying for more. They're one goal from promotion. And at the city ground, Forrest are starting to wobble. Andy Kirk's glancing header means they now have no margin for error. Their hold on second place is now only a goal thick. And at Wadden Road, Rovers are piling it on. JJ Price has been added to the fray. He nearly gets there. Big hair, big game. But while it's that close, Cheltenham always have a chance, and so it proves. Paul Connor poking the home team into the lead. It now means Cheltenham are looking comfortable, and Doncaster need two. 
No comfort, though, at Gresty Road. With six minutes still to play, Steve Jones finally gets them on the score sheet, but their fate is entirely out of their control. A goal for Bournemouth would see them relegated. And relegation to the bottom division for Gillingham for the first time in 12 is irreversible when Trezor Candle fires in a late winner for Leeds. They move up one place as the playoff pack gets shuffled. And then it's all over in Carlisle and the end of the road for Bournemouth, who've come so close to a great escape. But Carlisle have had a season to celebrate. So too in the final reckoning have Cheltenham and their delight shows. Doncaster pull up agonisingly short and will have to take their chances now in the playoffs. Cheltenham boss Keith Downey took over when they seemed doomed. It's been a remarkable turnaround. We keep on defying the odds, you know, and um, the staff, the players, and they've been absolutely fantastic. From six months of taking over, they have really worked their socks off and it's just all culminated in a fantastic day today. Staying up, going up. The double European Cup winners finally on their way again, but it's been a difficult journey. For it to come down to one game is, uh, is unbelievable. And for us to achieve what we've achieved this season is fantastic. You know, nobody gives us a chance really with three or four weeks left to go, but no, all credit to the lads. So Swansea are the champions, Forest the runners up, and Doncaster Rovers, who've not been in the second tier for 50 years, fall just short on the final day. Carlisle, Leeds, and South End make up the other playoff contenders. And joining Luton and Port Vale next season in League Two are Gillingham and Bournemouth, despite winning six of their final seven games. South End play Doncaster Rovers at home first on Friday and a week later away. Leeds entertain Carlisle on Monday the 12th with a return leg the following Thursday.